Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create magnetic simulations in Blender. Let's get started. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Right click and make shade smooth. Move the sphere up a little bit. Add a cube object. Hit the S key to scale down. We want the sphere to be a magnet and the cube to snap to the sphere. Press Shift A and add a force field. We want the force field to snap to the origin of the sphere. With the force field selected, hold down the Shift key and select the sphere. Press Shift S and selection to active. All right. Select the cube, click the physics properties tab and add a rigid body. So the cube will be affected by the force field. Hit the space bar to play the simulation. As you can see, the cube falls down by gravity force. Click the Scene Properties tab and disable the gravity force. Play the simulation again. This time the cube is being pushed slowly by the force field. Select the force field and go to the Physics Properties tab. Set the strength value to 50. When we play the simulation, the cube will be pushed faster. However, we want the cube will be pulled by the force field, so we need to set the strength to any negative values. Set the strength value to negative 50. That's it. If the value is set higher, then the cube will experience a stronger pulling force. Let's set the strength value to negative 200. All right. We also want the cube to interact with the sphere. Select the sphere and add a rigid body. Switch the rigid body type to the passive. Let's play the simulation. There we go. The cube will be pulled by the force field and snapped to the sphere. We can also speed up the simulation. Go to the Scene Properties tab, open up the Rigid Body World panel, and set the speed value to 5. That's it. All right. Select the cube and move to the right side on the x-axis. Press numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Press Shift D to duplicate the cube. So. Duplicate the cubes a couple of times. Place the duplicated cubes all around the sphere. Let's play the simulation again. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.